nice bass too. Oh, that's a dandy. One motion to get him in the boat. Wow, that's a big one. Right there, look at that. Nice fish. A lot of sharp spots on these. You gotta watch out where you put your hands. You should see it. What's going here? here, bud? Looks like maybe a black bass. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that black bass. It's a beaut. I let it go down and hit the bottom and come up. Yeah, good. this nice bass out here on the Oregon coast. All right, so we're in Depot Bay, Oregon doing lingcod and rockfish today, and the fishing's pretty good. Um, just to kind of go over the, the creel limit, we got five rockfish. Those can be pretty much anything. We cannot keep quillbacks and yellow eye. Those two we have to release. Lingcod have to be 22 inches and bigger. Um, and we got those today, and we got a mixed bag of fish today. Um, we got black rock bass, we got deacon rockfish, we got china rockfish, canaries, we let a couple quillbacks go. Let's see what else did we get. Oh, we had to let um, a big old cabazon go. You can start getting those July 1st. So lots of options. The cool thing about being here is you just don't know what you're going to get. The harbor is the best. It's really small, but what I like the most is it's really close to the grounds. We are a mile at most in many cases of catching fish and you can catch them right out in front. There's no ebb currents like with other rivers. Like if, if you go down any of the ports, those are rivers and so we have outgoing tides and incoming tides that affect how and when you can get out. Here at Depot Bay, it's the smallest harbor on the coast or the world they say and it's one boat at a time and it's pretty easy to get out most days. There we go, finally. Got him. Like a decent one. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take that. Talk Take that all day long. Look, just just inhaled it. Oh man, still got fired up. Beautiful looking fish. Some of the best eating right there. Oh, there, the there you go, double, double. Took it right on the surface. I was just below the water here. Oh, it's a nice bass too. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, another one with that. Nice black sea bass, the Oregon coast, Depot, Depot Bay. Bay. That's perfect, Depot Bay, black sea bass. Here's a good one. Just tap bottom. Not the biggest one, but we'll take. There we go. There's another one right there. That's a better fish. I was way down on the bottom there. Oh yeah, that's a nice bass right there. That's chunky. He just inhaled that bait. Oh man. Yeah, that nice bass right there. Just inhaled that bait. All right, we're going after Lingcod, and we got a blue label herring here, but I got it dyed in short tooth fire brine. You know, Lingcod eat a lot of stuff down there, but it seems like the short tooth does pretty good. So it's five aught hooks pretty simple setup just like that and then we're going to be dropping this to the bottom crank up and then we'll see what happens Ooh, this is a big one. Oh yeah you sure might that's a, a rockfish might be a ling might be a ling cod i'm thinking it's a ling cod yeah, nice oregon ling cod here Good eats right here. Yeah, it fought like a link cod. Ooh, Ooh son. Look at that. Ooh, let me get this guy out. Oh, big gap. Look at that. <laughs> look at that face. Look at those big wings. More tacos, baby. More tacos. <laughs> oh. Troy has got the hot hand today, boys. 
Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that right there. Nice fish on a squid. A little fire gel on it. Today, kind of the the best way that we found our bass was with these little squid jigs. This is a one ounce head. These fish, we're fishing in about 50 foot of water, so we weren't too deep. When you get deeper, we need a little heavier lead, but the one ounce seemed to work good and anything under 60. Um, I use a little zip tie. You can kind of see that. It keeps that on the hook from getting pulled down every time you get a fish. Um, different colors work. We're trying them all, but this one here teamed up with Rockfish Fire Gel has been kind of the program for me, and it's really easy to do. Um, take a pretty good amount on the finger. And I like to get it around the head and just around that collar. It seems to stay pretty good to smear it all over the bait. And it lasts a long time and it doesn't hurt. Really good, effective way to get the fish out here. A um, Little bit bigger head on this one. This is a three ounce head, so a little deeper water. And this is a nice squid from Chase Baits. These are hard to find, but really good. So you see that. Again, um, we can use uh, more of the rockfish fire gel on this one right here. And I just put that right on the belly and along the hook. And that seems to be the method today. We caught quite a few lean cod on this one today. Another method with some of the hard baits too, which um, we like to just have different things, different presentations. And these are really effective out here. Um, this is a two ounce and right here, really nice. The anchovy fire gel works pretty good on this one. It's kind of, like I always say, you match the hatch, but that's how we're doing that. And it teamed up for a lot of fish today. A little beaver fish, huh? Sporting the colors. Yep, yep. sure enough. Is it? Yeah. It's not a yellow. Oh, it's no, it's no, never mind. That's a okay. it's deeper. Yep. I just saw the orange. Matching, uh, matching your gloves. Woohoo! These are pretty. You can't tell where your fingers start and your the fish ends. What's going on back here, El Capitan? I don't know, but it's got some head shakes. Can't quite tell what it is, but oh, they go big, big canary. Beautiful. It's actually a really nice canary yeah, right here. Beautiful for sure. Look at that. Take those all day, right? Yeah. I like it. It's pretty. All right, so the setup today is pretty simple. Um, I have a six foot six uh, medium light uh, saltwater rod. This is from Striker Rods, actually. They're out of Eugene, Oregon, and I got an Okuma reel. It's a 40 series, so a little bit bigger. I team it up with 50 pound braided line Power Pro. I like the 50 because when you get snagged on the bottom, you can actually break it off because it's a coral reef. We are getting stuck quite a bit. And then I always, with my jigs, you can see I do a, I tie a bumper on here and uh, I got 40 pound ultra green on here. So that way it's strong enough on the lean cod, but if we do need to break it off, it can, and we don't, you know, get stuck spooling ourselves. So pretty nice setup. Rockfish and lean cod. The other method I like to do for the lean cod is mooch, and that's using herring. Um, we use a bigger herring, like a blue label, um, but the rods are a bit stiffer we're doing. This is a medium light rod as well, but it's, it's in the casting uh configuration and this is a pretty big beefy setup because we can get some pretty big lean cod and i'm running a 65 pound power pro for my main line because i don't want that to break because on that we're running a 10 ounce banana weight these actually have a swivel on it um this keeps it in line it's a pretty clean system so 65 pound to the weight and then i have about a two and a half foot liter of 40 pound tests um ultra green and then uh, the regular mooching setup here is of uh, two five aught hooks they're kind of spread out far for a blue label herring and i'll show you how i rig that up now one of the cool things about here is the fire brine can be used for all types of bait not just salmon and the reason i like to do it for the lean cod is they they pop down there and it's just something a little bit different and it seems like the fish really like it so i'm gonna rig this up really quick tail hook in the back end, the front hook right through the nose, just like that. So it's pretty simple. So when that thing's going down, this thing's actually gonna be spinning and moving across the drift on the very bottom. Pacific is like a box of chocolates. That was like a bite, didn't it? Yeah. Another little canary. We'll take it. 
fucking up. Look at that thing. Nice. Oh, big that's old a canary. Big old canary. Man, oh man. Yeah. Look at that sucker. We'll take it. All day long. Yeah, right there. Very Peace. nice, yes. Today's episode of Pilots Get Outdoors comes to you from the Oregon coast where we're fishing between basically Lincoln City and Newport in Depot Bay. A lot of people know Depot Bay simply because it's the smallest active harbor in the world, or so they claim. The great news is it's a safe harbor. Coast Guard is right here. We all appreciate sure what they do. And fishing here can be very interesting. Depot can provide some of the best fishing around when the water is calm and you're able to get across the bar into the open ocean. Now today, we were able to get out there in the morning and do some fishing and sure enough, it got a little rough and we came back in. In the morning, we caught some lings, we caught some rockfish and then we went out later in the day and we caught other species of rockfish. There are so many rockfish in and around this area because there's great reefs around here. There's a lot of kelp beds. There's tremendous amount of sea life. You can see there's whales everywhere. There's seals everywhere. There's birds everywhere. This is one of the greatest tourist places on the Oregon coast. Now, we're roughly 110 miles from Portland. It'll take you about two and a half hours to get there if there's no traffic. You all know what that means. Now, Depot Bay sure is a small town right along the Pacific Ocean. It is right along world famous US Highway Route 101. It's got a population of about 1,800 residents. And let me tell you something, this place is only about two miles long. Very interesting for such a small, thriving town. Now, there's so much more here than just fishing. What I mean by that is, you have some of the best seafood there is along the Oregon coast, some amazing local places with some awesome dishes. You also have the ability to walk up and down a quaint town with different places to get chowder, different places to get whale watching tours, different places to go fishing, different places to find seals, sea lions, whales, it doesn't matter. There is something for everybody here. Now, of course, we came here for the fishing. And sure enough, we also left with a happy stomach full of amazing food. But the world's smallest harbor was approached by us today doing one thing. We basically fished for different species of bottom fish. Now, we all focus today with Kyle Bushelman of Willamette Valley Outfitters. He's our favorite guide in the area. Does a great job. And you know what? While we support everybody and even the big boats and the party boats, we prefer a smaller, more intimate experience with lighter tackle where you can get right on top of where you're fishing. To do that today, we employed two techniques. We used chartreuse fire brine herring where we mooched that and we caught some nice lingcod. We also used small jigs. And these small jigs were be able to use on light tackle where we went out there and we used several different kind of fire gel. Scent is a big thing in the ocean. We all know that. We used rockfish fire gel. We used anchovy fire gel. We had squid and then we lost it. It just shows you how much we use squid and, it, and, and several other species as well. You know, krill is a real popular uh, fire gel that we used. We basically tried to match the hatch. We caught a lot of really nice fish out here. Now remember, when you're along the Oregon coast, keep your eyes open because there could be whales spouting everywhere. Depot Bay is heaven for whales and many other species in addition to anglers like us that love getting out of the harbor, getting out into the ocean, and catching some world-class rockfish. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.